When you and I were starting, there was no blueprint, so it really was just a, a hobby. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this hobby is turning into something that can be, be something bigger. We kind of just went along with like the next step, like let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Oh yeah, no, people like start YouTube to have yeah. a business plan. Yeah, I and you're know. the reason why now. Everyone's you're like, You're the reason why as well. Jen, Hello. you look amazing tonight. Thank you, so do you. I'm so uh, excited to be sitting here with you. When they messaged me to, that we were going to interview, I was just like, I just need to ask her a bunch of like kid questions. Really? Yeah. I saw that I was interviewing you and I was like, yes, <laughs> absolutely. But first, yes. is it Phil or is it Philip? Because so, Helen calls you Philip, but it's right. Phil. I was Philip all the way until like college and then people started getting lazy, I guess. Here's the sad thing, for a very long time, like all through high school, I thought Philip was a unique name. Cause I only knew one other Philip. And then I got to college and there's a shitload of Philips out there. Honestly, you're the only Philip I know. So I guess See? it's like a deceptively unique name. Yes, and, yeah. and I'm one L. A lot of people are two L's. Really? So I'm one oh. L. Okay, you're special. So, so you got the babysitter tonight? Yes, aka my mom. Oh, nice. Yes, nice. Yes. I'm gonna need that number, that oh, the, these tips later on. My mom might be available. <laughs> I'll send you her card. Yes. By yes. then, I mean, you got you guys are like so close. We are. Weeks. So my wife is not here tonight. She was. She usually would be here with me, Helen, um, but she's uh, we're like days away. So. I know. And like everyone keeps asking, like, how are you feeling? And, and I just keep saying like. I don't know what to feel because I don't feel like even whatever, even if I'm ready or if I'm nervous, it doesn't matter. Once the baby comes, it, it's just you will never expect what it is. Right? I know, yeah. right? It's like you're like going on a roller coaster yeah. and you're just like cranking up and yeah. up and up, and people are just asking you a bunch of right. questions, and you're just like, bro, I don't know. The I'm, ride doesn't stop. Though. It's not stop. like it's like how do you feel when you get there? It's like it no, just continues. Exactly. Okay. So it's like it's, uh, it's, it's, all these questions are to ask you to just pass the time. Yeah. Because you don't know until you. Drop, oh, you know? oh, it's a, oh, okay. It's it's a, the second Helen's water breaks or she's induced or whatever, that's when the freaking ride starts. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't want to curse here. All right. But that's when the ride starts. Woo. I didn't know this. Because oh. the second my water broke, I was like, okay, we're on this ride. Yeah. Well, you know so. what? You um, sharing your journey has been so helpful to uh, obviously your millions of followers, but also to Helen too. She's been, there's been oh. so many times where she's like, we're getting that one because Jen got that. Oh. <laughs> Like, no. we, we literally have so many things where it's like, Jen has that one, Jen <laughs> really? has that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no, I literally texted Helen being like, hey, I know you're like on your last days <laughs> of your pregnancy, but are you gonna come to the gala? I know, I wish no. you were here, I wish you were. We'll, I know. We'll, we'll do other hangouts later on. Next but, year. Yes, but the, next, you, the 20th unforgettable yes. gala. Yeah, that, that's a Helen. way better number I know, anyways. 19. <sighs> Were you, what was, do you remember the first gala you went to of this? Yes. Of How long ago was it? It was the year of 2017. Okay, not that long ago. Maybe, maybe 2016, I'm not sure. Right, oh wait, like, I think, was that the year that we both were like honored for something? Were we honored for something? You, you were honored for something. I think I sure blacked out because I had to present something, so I got so okay. nervous that I just like, pfft. Like yeah. just forgot everything. Now, and now we're we're like put into this back room while the, while the show's going on. I know, right? On. Exactly. I like we're we're in such this, veterans now. We are. We're, we're just know. like the OGs. It's not our first. We we are the OGs though. We are in YouTube as well. In YouTube. Yes. Yeah. What year did you start doing YouTube? Oh my gosh. Well, technically, we started before YouTube was even around. That's how. That's what do you old mean? Old. How do you even start something before it was around? Because there's websites that you would buy server space for, and you would make your own <laughs> website on GeoCities. GeoCities! That's what we were doing Geo a long, long time ago. But then, so when YouTube came around, it was literally just free bandwidth. Wow. That's, that's, that's how long ago it was. It was just free real estate. I'm, I go back even further than you, and the reason why I know that is because I remember seeing your name start, start to pop up. I'm like, really? who is this Close Encounters girl <laughs> up in NorCal? <laughs> Cause you were going to Davis, right at the yeah, time. Yeah, I went to Davis. Yeah, and yeah. so like, we're, cause this was a time when the Asian kind of like community on YouTube was still very, um, like you know, tight knit. Yeah. And so when there were new people that were coming up, now now there's so many. Now there's like a new TikToker like every other day. Right. But like at that time, it was like okay, someone's on the rise. Let's keep an eye on her. Oh man. What did it like when you were starting? Like, what did it feel like to know that you were kind of getting this like, you know, fan base like around you. Was that the plan or were you no. just sharing things? I mean, yeah, I, I feel it's just like you. Like, yeah. I, I, didn't, I mean, I wasn't in the Geo City right, right. days, you know? <laughs> Not quite. Like the pre-YouTube pre, pre right. days. Right. But like, I think I just wanted a place where I can just share 
like stuff that we found on Goodwill. It was right. just like it was more of a hobby and mm -hmm. a place to express ourselves. I'm pretty sure it was the same thing for you. No, as well, it was right? because I think like what people have to realize is obviously now if you start a channel or any social media, mm. there's a model to follow, right? right. There's, there's people that you can see like, oh, I can do that. Yeah. But when you and I were starting, it there was no there was no blueprint, so it really was just a hobby. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this hobby is turning into something that can be something bigger or be my livelihood. And I think we we kind of just went along with like the next step, like let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Right. But, but now it's very different. Now it's like, oh, you have to have a business plan if you start a YouTube channel. I know, yeah, now people like start YouTube to have yeah. a business plan. Yeah. But I and don't know. And you're the reason why now. Everyone's you're like, You're the reason why as well. Everyone wants to be a Gen M now. No, everyone, well, but the thing is like, I feel like with Wong Fu Productions, it was kind of like, uh, like a platform for for, I mean, like, mm. to, to like kind of start off yeah, from and then yeah, create because yeah. you were creating films on YouTube. Right, it was a little different. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, like, so like, tell me about like your filmmaking. Like, is this something that you've always wanted to do, or is this something that you, you know? That's a that's a good side. question. I don't know because I think there's a lot of like filmmakers that are out there that they have that ambition. Like since they were young, they're like, oh, little Timmy was always going to be a director right. or whatever, right? And like, I honestly never had that thought before because. This is why representation really does matter because I just never saw an example of a, a successful direct like Asian director that yeah. wasn't like for like a foreign director, right? Right, right. And so I was just like, oh like there's no space for us in, in the industry. So for me it's strictly just hobby. And I I actually went to college for like I, I was undeclared actually. <laughs> and, and I had no idea what I was gonna do. I was going, uh -huh. oh maybe I would go into econ or something. But yeah, then like yeah. the videos started just being this hobby and like we started making stuff and I'm like, oh okay, like maybe this is something I'm I don't suck at. Right. And because we came up during a time where YouTube and social media was changing things, like there was less red tape. So I, I feel very lucky that I also didn't have to pound the pavement the traditional way. Oh totally. Like a lot of people before me. So like I was at this very unique crossing point of technology and like society cultural shifts mm. that allowed hobbyists like me to kind of turn into something else. Like, did you feel any pressure at that time? So like, when we when we first started, like definitely we thought like um, we when people were telling us, oh, you're like a role model, you're an inspiration. I thought it was like too early. I, I was like, wait, no, no, we don't know what that is. It felt premature. Exactly, because yeah. I didn't feel like we accomplished anything. And then mm. like the longer we did it, and the more we saw how little opportunities there were, how few people were actually able to do what we were doing, it made me appreciate it more. It made me want to, I guess, like try to be that role model that people wanted us to be, I guess. Right. So I think just when you're younger, it's, it's just always scary when people put an agenda on you. Yeah. Which I'm sure you felt too. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I, th I feel like just by anyone, just especially as an Asian American trying to do, a, going to an industry that is not normal, people will say, okay, now you're in it. Okay, now you represent us and you represent all of us. Uh, did, you ever, did you ever get that feeling? Um. I'm not, I mean, it's it's interesting. Like, it's it's kind of hard to like pinpoint where the pressure came from. Mm -hmm. I think like, maybe it's like a half and half situation yeah, yeah. if I had to be like diplomatic about <laughs> it. I think it's like half from like the public yeah. and then half from like our own yeah, expectations our own yeah. of yeah. ourselves, yeah. you know? Right. No, I feel like because like we've both in this space, we're seasoned we're here. Seasoned. We're seasoned, Phil. Right. It's interesting because it's yeah. like now, like I feel yeah. like now that like I mean you're 30, right? I'm, I'm, I'm way 30? past 30. Yeah, you're 30. Thank you though. Yeah, thank yeah. You, I don't know. I, mean, I feel like we're on the same right. wavelength in the sense where like I feel like I had an awakening in my 30s where mm -hmm. I was like, wait, like, is this something that's important to me? Like, because yeah. I feel like influencer, yeah. like that term, that job description is something that has like a stigma towards it. Like yeah. before it was just like, oh, we don't know what to call these type of people, so right. we'll just call them influencers. Right. And then it became a thing of like, oh, like these people are like fashion and beauty. Right. But I think like, especially when I became a parent and when I got pregnant and especially in my late 20s, that's yeah. when I realized like, this is like fun and, and cool, but I strive for something deeper. Yeah. I strive for something with like values and morals with yeah. like deeper roots. Having an impact. Yeah. Exactly. And it's yeah. just like I at the end of the day, like I don't really care about what type of makeup I'm wearing right. or what kind of what outfit I'm wearing. Yeah. Like it it my values and my morals like are so much more important. For sure. And so that's the type of thing I want to influence at this point. That, I hate that no, word. But what it, should we call it? Is what, yeah. It is what it is. Though. It is what it, it is. is what it is. And, and and I think the matter like that word's gonna be there, but it's about what you do with that word that's that's Are you an influencer? Part. I don't know anymore. What are you Lauren? What are you? Because well I have a boba shop, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm a janitor also. Yeah. <laughs> I take out the trash. Chef. You know, so yeah. I have a lot of different things, but now I'm soon to be dad. That, yes. Let me ask you that real so quick. Has that transition of title from just you being Gen M, 
my, my own influencer self to now I'm a mother. I'm, I'm gonna deal with that pretty soon. Yes, father to right? the title. So like, how do you still maintain that individuality or, or balance giving up a little bit Ooh. for your child? Well, I feel like it's a, a matter of just like constantly being expansive with our identities. Mm. Because when we just kind of close ourselves to the box being like, well, I'm just like, I'm just this, I'm just yeah. an influencer. Yeah. That like, that really cuts off a lot of potential yeah. and I think adding a mother to my identity at first I thought like oh my gosh is this gonna define me am I only just gonna be a mom yeah, yeah. am I gonna be a mom yeah. youtuber okay. <laughs> you know but it's not true yeah. like it's it, if anything it's just expansion yeah. it's me being like myself being into fashion, yeah. being into culture, being into self-development, yeah. and then adding mother to that list. Right. You know, it's it's just, I feel like in life we're meant to grow. Yeah. And having the privilege to be a parent yeah. is the most beautiful thing. Like For some sure. people find it, some, I feel yeah. like the expectation is that it's a limiting thing. Like, yeah. oh, you're a dad, okay, yeah, that's yeah, you. Yeah. No, it's just a part of you. Right. And that's what I'm understanding. Mm -hmm. And even like, I feel like YouTube is really like, made me understand how to expand mm, myself yeah. because they've got the playlists. You oh. know? And that is how you divide yourself. You got your beauty, you got your fashion, oh, you got your books, saying. you got your self-development, yeah. you got your food, yeah. you got your you can, be many, you can be many different things You got me, so we're so multifaceted right. and right. that's like the beauty of parenting. Right. And the thing with being a parent, like I'm so excited, like you and Helen are so ready to be, <laughs> ready to be parents. I've never changed a diaper in my life. I know, me neither. Me neither, really? bro. No, I've never even held a baby until I held my own baby. Oh, I was like, how am oh, I doing shit. this? But like, I'm three months into the game. And now you're, are, and is, finally, it, is it easy? I could just do it with my eyes Whoa. closed. I was like, yep. I could hear him and be like, he's hungry. I'm like Here, looking at like tired. pictures of like different types of poop and stools. And no. I'm like, I'm like studying flashcards don't, of poop right don't, now, guys. Like, honestly, forget about it. Like, okay. until your baby gets yeah, here, yeah, yeah. that's all that matters. I thought I could study for parenthood, too. Helen's no. really trying. Yeah, I, I, can't, I yeah. know, but the thing is, like, I thought that I could yeah. study, too. Jen, I, I really enjoyed getting to talk to you, because you, you got to do a podcast episode with Helen I already. Know, so and the whole good. time you guys were record recording, I was like, I have so much to say. So now this is our time to finally talk. We got 15 it's too minutes. Short. Yes, too short. Too short. Once the baby comes, you know, we're going to be hitting you up. Play dates, for sure. Yeah, play dates. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. excited. See, I'm so excited for you guys. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we literally got Dude. cut off. <laughs> yeah, we were just. They it's the, the, they parents are, the parents are going, <laughs> the parents are talking. <laughs>